Caddis Maximus here, continuing our dive into hole making tools. This time we have a very long 18 inch installers drill bits as well as aircraft drill bits. So what we have is bits for dry, drilling through soft materials for people who install, you know, cable TV systems and that kind of stuff, installing networks. And then we have what are known as aircraft drills. These are foot long, high speed, speed steel twist drills for metal drilling or any kind of drilling. These can of course be used for this, but there is a general uh, purpose. As they say, these are aircraft drills. They are 12 inches long and therefore extra long reach for metal, you know, more for metal drilling operations, but you can use them for anything. And that's really, or I should say when aircraft use is really where you do see these, because oftentimes there's many types of operations where you do need to make some holes, drill out some rivets, etc., And you need uh, extra long reach because of all the tight spaces that exist on aircraft. So they make these super long drill bits. Had some people comment about uh, drill bits, maybe cheap Harbor Freight ones, where not all the bits in the set are completely straight. That becomes much more of a concern when you're talking about these foot-long drill bits. Um, from my general experience, they do come pretty straight, but they are just super duper easy to bend, easy to put too much pressure on them and have them bend, easy for them to get jammed up in your toolbox and get bent. So you have to be careful with them, especially super tiny ones. What we have here is a 12 inch long, 1 16th inch drill bit. And this is one super delicate drill bit, but of course it will allow you to get into places that no other drill bit could You know, our drilling combination can possibly uh, even hope to achieve. One thing about these driblets we can see is that the flutes don't go all the way up. Part of the reason for that is to try to keep just as much rigidity as possible on this really long shaft. So they only, uh, you know, have flutes for their first, I would say, 25% or so of the drill bit. Maybe 20%, that would be more accurate. And so you have to remember that you can't drill a really long hole without uh, pulling back and doing a pecking operation so you can clear out the debris that builds up into the drill bits. These are both AP sets. They tend to come in much smaller sets due to their expense. They of course make 29 piece set and even 115 piece set, but 115 piece set of aircraft drills somewhere between $500 and $1,000 just on high speed steel. If they were cobalt, $1,000 to $2,000. It You can really start getting uh, into very high prices when you talk about increasingly high quality drill bits. There are actually extra long drill bits for CNC machines that are 100% pure carbide and actually I was able to find a 115 piece set of those uh, and it was near $10,000. Really that expensive. When you start getting into heavy uh, professional manufacturing equipment and tooling It's kind of like artwork. It's just like any, I should say, artwork or high-end audio equipment or high-end cars. Really, the sky's the limit. You can spend tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars getting just the absolute best that is physically made in the world. That was kind of an odd tangent. Anyway, I should also mention that they do make intermediate links. So this would be an example of a 16th inch six inch aircraft drill so that would be considered a shorter drill so you can get ones that are not the full 12 inches long and save yourself a bit of money and many times when you need an extra long drill bit the six inch ones will cover it for you i do have kind of an oddball drill bit this is would be kind of considered a silver and deming drill but those types of drills are like these where they're a very large drill bit but they're designed to fit in the half inch drill chuck This one's a little bit different because it's a overall length is 12 inches and this is one inch. So I kind of use this for both purposes. If I need to drill a one inch hole in aluminum, uh, that's fairly deep. Obviously it's a huge cross section. I'll use this, but it's also great for one inch holes for install installation purposes because obviously uh, this 12 inch bit will make it through most walls and beams, etc. And then we have these drill bits, which are known as installer's drill bits. Once again, they also make intermediate length ones, such as this, which is a 12 inch version. These drill bits, you always kind of know that they are an installer's drill bit for a couple reasons. One is the obviousness that they are just super long, foot and a half long, 18 inches. The second thing that they do is they always have really pretty thin shanks. And that's because as you're drilling these deep holes, they make it so you don't have to peck quite as often because there's extra space around the shank. The drill bit's drilling a hole that's larger than the shank, so it gives some space for extra debris to build up. 
The other thing that's real obvious about them is they have an extremely sharp 90 degree point. Standard drill bits will have 115 degree or 135 degree points as we can see here. And we can see on these installer bits, they're super duper sharp. And that's just to make it easier for them just to stab into the wood or the drywall and stay pretty centered as you're drilling your hole. Just for cable installation work, anything like that. These particular units are Irwin's. They are not very, uh, not particularly good, uh, but they were pretty cheap. The other telltale sign of them is that they have this hole in them. And that's so you can run the drill bit through and then attach, you know, a fish tape or a fishing wire to the drill bit itself. And then you pull the drill bit back out. And of course, yanking your cables through the hole. So you kind of do two birds with one stone with these bits. They also tend to go from larger sizes, such as this aircraft drill set. This is a, excuse me, this is a eight piece set and it's from 16th inch through half inch. This is a ha uh, eight piece set of inst installation drills, but they don't, you, there's rarely do you need tiny little holes. So it goes from quarter inch up to three quarters of an inch. These bits you do have to be super careful with just because of how long they are. If we just do a little example here, such as with this 7 16 actually we'll use one of these long installation bits because it's a little bit better of an example. Uh, it's always kind of a bit funny with these things just because how far they out they stick. It's really pretty surprising. And one of the most common things that people do, I can't even get this whole thing in the frame, but we can see that this, between the drill and the bit, I mean, the drill bit's at my elbow, so <laughs> uh, we can see that, you know, from the tip of my finger to my elbow is maybe 20, 22 inches. So you end up with a hull contraption that's, you know, two feet long. So obviously, these don't work in the tightest of spaces. But one of the two most common issues that, or things that happen where people do bend them is because when they set them down, you'll set something on them. Maybe you'll even trip over and step on it. It will instantly ruin the drill bit. It's very difficult to bend one of these perfectly straight once they have been bent. Another common issue is you kind of can become complacent, set the drill down. Surprisingly enough, this the wall has enough of a foot on it, will actually stand up with a huge old drill bit in it. But oftentimes you'll do set it up, it will fall over do this and you'll think it won't be that bad, but because of all this leverage, it will bend a little bit. And just a tiny microscopic bend down here will cause the end of this bit to really zip around. So you always want to kind of double check that to make sure that they're running relatively true before you start using them. Otherwise they really uh, start making real badly oversized holes. Anyway, this was just a kind of a quick video just showing really long drill bits where you might wonder, well, if I need to make super deep holes, am I just stuck using a spade drill? No, there are twist drills that will give you much better holes when you need uh, a lot of extension. And it, of course, there are specialized drills that are made for people who are trying to, you know, I shouldn't say restore, but there are arborist drills where they have to drill all the way through trees where they run cables to try to support branches on old trees. And so there are some other specialty bits, but these will generally do a lot of those type of operations. Remember, an 18-inch long bit will allow you to drill almost three feet, starting from going in from one side a foot and a half and, of course, from the other side a foot and a half. It's a little harder when you're trying to make two holes meet in the middle, but you can do it. And so once you have these, you kind of learn that they actually have a surprising number of applications. Same thing with the aircraft drills. You don't always have to own, exclusively use them when you have extremely tight spaces. Maybe you're trying to drill out a fastener in a piece of equipment or a you know, broken off fastener or make a hole in a piece of equipment or something like that. And you may be in a very awkward position where just a long drill bit would allow you to have a little bit more space and uh, ultimately have more of an effective hole making endeavor because you're able to control and hold the drill uh, in a more ergonomic position because now that you're, you don't have to be just right next to the surface like a traditional drill bit. Anyway, and I think I forgot to mention earlier, these are master mechanics. I think I'll end this video here. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.